Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at rays and then rays in the context of vectors. So let's first look at a ray. Okay, a ray, it has an endpoint. It goes in one direction. And so in this case, I'm going to name this ray A, B. Now when I actually write that name, I have to start with my endpoint. So I'm going to start with A through B and it's continuous through B. So that's ray A, B. Now let's say that I was drawing another ray and I'm going to start over here at C and I'm going to go through A. Now this time when I name that ray, I've got to name the ray C, A because my starting point is C, but it goes through A. And that's how you name rays. Now, let's look at it in terms of a vector. Okay, we're going to take a ray and we're going to place it on a Cartesian coordinate plane. And a vector it is typically named with a letter. So let's call this vector V. Okay, and we write it V with a little arrow over it to show that it is a vector. And that's how you symbolize it. And we get, a ray has a magnitude and a direction, which is kind of like a strength and a direction. So it's going to have two coordinates, just like an ordered pair. So this vector is in the coordinate plane at 4, 2. So this vector is the 4, 2 with the origin as its beginning point. Okay, and so that's kind of how it's named, where x is my 4, which is my horizontal direction, my horizontal magnitude is 4, and my y direction is 2, so my vertical direction is 2. And if I actually have to come up with a value for the vector, all you're going to do is basically use the Pythagorean theorem and find the length of that segment by just doing the Pythagorean theorem. So let's crank that out. Okay, so see how 4 is one side and 2 is one side of a right triangle. So the vector is actually a hypotenuse. So let's find the value of that vector. Okay, so 16 plus 4 is equal to c squared, right? a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a squared plus b squared equals 20. So c squared is 20. So the square root of 20 is actually the magnitude of my vector. Okay, so let's simplify that to 4 and 5. So that's going to be 2 square root 5 is the vector, the value of the vector. And that's how you find the values of vectors. Hope this video was helpful.